It's like eating vegetables when you're a kid. At first you think you're going to hate it, but then you try it and it's great. I met a great guy. No, lots of great guys on 550 team. Hey, a good time is only a phone call away. Not available in New Jersey, only in 212 718 914 516 area codes. I couldn't believe how much fun talking on the phone could be. Back. It's uh, round number three here on Couch Potatoes. And in case you were wondering, I'm wearing new shoes today, and that's why I'm smiling funny. <laughs> we're going to double the stakes to 50 uh, points here uh, for each correct answer. And uh, you're just a teeny bit behind, but, you know, you could probably tie things if you answer this correctly. Everybody's playing. Here's the tune-in question. Heathcliff, Clifton, and Clifford. Which of these names could be found on Dr. Dr. Yes, boy, Kathy. Heathcliff. Yes, Dr. Huxtable's birth certificate. You got it right away. It is Heathcliff, and we are going to add 50 rating points. And we're also going to talk about a spin-off round on the subject of the Cosby Show. And there they all are. And Kathy, Bruce, Anita, everybody plays over on this side. Cliff and Claire Huxtable have the perfect children. There's neither a hair out of place nor a wrinkle in their sweaters. Exactly how many perfect children do they have? Yes, Anita. Five. Five is the answer. Boy, I wondered if anybody was going to get that. They do indeed have five. And Anita answered that correctly. It's Kathy and Bruce. <laughs> Guess who's going to answer this? Grandpa Huxtable went to college there, and Cliff and Claire went there, and Denise may also get a degree from the school, even if Dad has to give Denise her own series to do it. What is the name of this Institute of Higher Learning? Yes, Kathy? Hillman. Yes, you watched the show. That is right, Hillman College. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a rerun. Uh, this time we went, instead of from Kathy to Anita, it's Anita to Kathy, and Bruce could be 300 rating points. Theo Huxtable's best friend has wormed his way into the hearts of the entire Huxtable family. What nickname does he answer to? Yes, Bruce. That'll be Cockroach, That Mark. would be Cockroach. Okay. You now have 300 rating points. You know Cockroach's real first name on the show? Ah, eh, time's up. Eh, no, <laughs> How about over here? Do you know? Walter. See, there you go. Caroline, you got to do it when it's worth the points, though. That's when you got to do it. All right, let's do another tune-in round, and I want everybody to play this time around. Cosmos, Nova, or Battlestar Galactica? Which of these heavenly shows features a man... Yes, Diane? Nova. No, it's Cosmos, the man who talks about billions and billions of stars. No points awarded, but you get control, and we're going to talk about the subject of public potatoes here on uh, PBS, and uh, <laughs> there's our public potato right up there. Okay, 450 rating points. Julia Child was one of the first PBS stars to obtain a wide viewing audience and public acclaim with one of her best cooking shows ever. Name this popular series. I don't believe it, Bruce. The French Chef. Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's totally destroyed the pattern of the mashed taters. It's now up to Kathy and Anita. What will we do? Okay, it's worth 50 rating points. One of the things that distinguishes Masterpiece Theater from other British series is its wonderful acting and lavish production values. The other is its staid and rather reserved host. Name him. <laughs> Kathy. Alistair Cook. Yes, once again, Alistair Cook. <laughs> On Sesame Street, they do a takeoff of that. You know what they call him? Alistair Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair Cookie. Okay, Anita, this is a, an unusual situation for us to be in, but you have to answer like this Bruce. last... I'm sorry? You feel like Bruce. You feel like Bruce. Well, you don't look too much like him, but let's see if we can answer this. Around the water cooler, you might call them Jim and Bob, but when they host their nightly news program, you'd better show a little more respect. Name the show. Yes, Anita? The McNeil Lair Report. Yes, you've done it. A clean sweep one more time. We have uh, 450 rating points over here for the Mash Taters. We only have 50, but ladies, don't worry, because we're going to come back with a couch-up round where the score could change in just a matter of moments, and perhaps it will. We'll all find out together right after this. Come back. Hello, this is Vincent Price for Mystery. And today's program is the mystery program about a beloved host of a distinguished and mysterious TV program called Mystery, who suddenly goes mad. <laughs> Hello, I'm Vincent Price for Mystery. And today's mystery deals with the mysterious and distinguished program, the beloved host of whom suddenly goes mad. Hello, oh no, I'm Vincent Price, and I'm trapped. Oh, the walls, the walls. We'll be right back after these words. Help me! Help me! 
When your cat is hungry, what does she really want? Plain cat food? Maybe gourmet cat food? No. In her heart, she hungers for a morning. Because to find salmon that's firmer, meatier, and flakier than a moray flake salmon dinner, she'd have to catch it herself. If you truly want the best for your cat, look beyond gourmet. Give her a moray. heard the news. No. No. It's no. The taste of Hershey's chocolate milk now comes in a mix. Introducing rich, chocolatey Hershey's chocolate milk mix. It's no. Play telephone sports trivia and win daily prizes. Yo, I'm ready. Give it your best shot. Ugh.